Hello everyone, this is Dr. Omar Shakori, and today we will explain the AMC MCQ notes for August 2022 questions. To start with, I want you to know that uh, this month we have just about uh, 10 to 15% question of new questions. And most of the old questions are not from the past two months, not from July, not from uh, June. And this is a new things happen uh, this month for AMC MCQ exam. But still, the main advice to you is to read the last four to six months of recall and save them in your mind. So let's start with the August 2022. Let's start with the first question. So what's the diagnosis here? In this lesion, as you see, it is red and there is a whitish scale. This is, this is absolutely solar keratosis. This is absolutely solar keratosis. It is redness lesion with white scales. And this condition is a pre-malignant lesion and need to be removed surgically. Need to be removed surgically. Question two is very important question and very repetitive question in August 2022. And here you see a biceps. This is a biceps rupture. This is biceps tendon rupture. This uh, condition need treatment surgery, need surgery. But if the patient on warfarin, you have to stop warfarin. For this picture, we need full scenario. For this picture, we need a full scenario. Now, old man with dopetrine contracture, and uh, this is very important question. This is dopetrine contracture, very old question. Always they ask about risk factors and main causes for uh, dopetrine contracture. Always look for diabetes and alcohol. Diabetes and alcohol. Diabetes mellitus and alcohol are the main risk factor and the most likely causes for patient with dopetrine contracture. Treatment for the petrine contracture, first, of the, first is physiotherapy, then injection of a steroid, and then uh, surgery. Another question is a female who is uh, COVID-19 and she has SO, uh, saturation is low, she is on oxygen. So what to give? For COVID patient, very common question nowadays in AMC MCQ. Remedisphir, dexamethasone, uh, taclio, uh, uh, tocolizumab, and antibiotic. Look, the main the main drug that can be given for all patients who are COVID is the dexamethasone. It can be given for all patients who are. Uh, in need of oxygen, like our patient here, SpO2 is low, saturation is low, so the patient need oxygen, so you can give her dexamethasone. But for remedisphere and other antibiotic, this need specific indication, not for all patients. So always in COVID patient and main scenario patient is, is mild to moderate COVID, remember to give uh, dexamethasone, it will reduce inflammation and it is accepted for all COVID patients. This is a new question here. This is a new question here. You are a GP for a small rural uh, village. Recently, a patient with measles coming back to the village, uh, which of factor is the most concerning? Look, this question is asking you, you are a, a GP doctor sitting in a, a place, uh, but here we, we there is uh, an outbreak, measles outbreak. What's the most important concerning you, concerning factor for you as a doctor regarding measles outbreak? Look, susceptible population, yes. The old uh, pre uh, representation of population also, yes. Contact with infected patient always concerning you for measles outbreak. But the main, all are correct. But the most concerning one is susceptible 
population. This means the people who are not vaccinated in this society. So the people are not vaccinated in this society are the main concerning factor for you as a doctor for measles outbreak. Here we have a patient with anemia and this patient come for a blood transfusion. Suddenly he got a mild fever and blood pressure normal and uh, heart rate still normal, respiratory rate mild elevated. So what to do as a next step? Here in this condition, this is called a mild allergic reaction. If the patient got symptoms of anaphylactic shock, you have to stop blood transfusion. But if just mild allergic reaction, just fever, deal with the patient, just symptomatic treatment. Fever, give paracetamol. For fever, give paracetamol. So paracetamol is the main answer for this patient. In turn, uh, who is not listening to instruction, uh, make errors, report on duty with uh, alcohol intoxication. What to do? Report to medical director or uh, 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 tell APRA. Look, there are three conditions for uh, people who are working with a patient directly, like doctors and nurses. You have to inform APRA. If, the, if those who are taking alcohol as intoxication, a lot of, and who are taking drugs, medications, drugs, and who are uh, uh, sexual misconduct. Those three things you have to uh, inform APRA about them. This is incomplete. Here we have patient who is old with difficulty walking for uh, 24 hours and he has decreased uh, sensation of pain and temperature and Romberg, uh, Romberg test is positive. Look, in our study for AMC, remember Romberg test positive occur only in vitamin B12, in vitamin B12 deficiency. So find the keyword. If you find uh, Romberg plus Romberg plus decreased sensation, sense, uh, sense, sense of pain and temperature, this is occur in vitamin B12 deficiency. So what to do next regarding diagnosis? Of course, serum B12 level. Another, another question about uh, vitamin B12, megaloplastic anemia, numbness, and in patient who is a veget uh, not vegetarian, not strict vegetarian, indicate deficiency of which vitamin? This is occur also in vitamin B12, vitamin B12 deficiency. An infant with, uh, this is very repeated question also in 2022, a uh, patient who is infant with 1cm lump, what to do next? You are a GP, next refer to pediatric surgeon, next refer to surgical ward. This is, this is hernia and do not, an in infant, do not lose time by uh, checking this, immediately refer this for surgery for surgeon because of it is very common in infant that hernia will strangulate. Hernia in infant will strangulate as soon as uh, possible. So immediate transfer to surgery. A 15 year old uh, girl with boyfriend presented for termination of pregnancy. You are a GP, but you, you don't want to uh, do termination. And this is uh, illegal for you as a doctor. You are not doing this type of uh, uh, medical intervention. So what to do? Please refer this uh, lady, this girl to another GP. Refer this girl to another GP. Now, child with, this is very, very important question. Child with a uh, rainy nose and mother with uh, domestic violence, bruising and admit abuse. So what to do? Look, the priority in Australia, the priority is for a 
child. The priority is to protect the child. Here we have domestic violence. So this, this, this house is not safe for the child. Still here, the mother who, who has the domestic violence, not the child, but still, what to do next for you as a doctor once you have this mother, once you have this, uh, I mean, this patient, this mother patient, you have to call for a child protection authority. The child protection is a priority for you as a doctor. If you have a family drug history or a family with domestic violence or family with alcohol intoxication, please report and they have a child, please, re uh, please report this for the child protection authority first.